We're gonna catch oh, this dude! Oh no! no. Oh, hey guys, hey, what's up? We are here at Children's Hospital Los Angeles and we are about to surprise some of the patients here watching Spider-Man Far From Home. We wanted them to be the first people here in the West Coast to see it. This is going to be really fun. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? I'm good. Oh, yeah. I love your t-shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Who's on your street? You got Iron Man? That's you! That's me! Yeah. <laughs> Captain America, who's your favorite? That's Spider-Man. I like that. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Okay, man, I'm gonna miss you. Spider-Man. Why so fight the bad guys? So does Mysterio. We team up. We fight the bad guys together. So we keep everybody safe. I love you. Oh, thank you so much. I love you. 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 Well, I actually used all the webs on my way over here. Hey, Lauren, I love you, 3000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, Evie. Go say hi to your boys. Go say hi. I'll meet you halfway. Oh, thank you so much. You give great hugs. Tammy and Mark Weber. Hi. How do we ever thank you? Oh, you How do we don't do know. that? This blesses us more than it blesses you, I think. The guys hung out with the Webbers playing with Evie and her two sisters for half an hour. Oh, me. Oh. There were many special moments. I've been wearing this the whole tour and I haven't taken it off until a special occasion, so I would like to give it to you if you want to keep it. And even you leave me breathless But it's okay Cause you are my survival Now dance away <laughs> I'm sorry. When we visit children like this and, and people who are less fortunate in, in the situations that they're in you know, We take a piece of them home with us And you know, that, that stays with us for the rest of our lives Sing it girl I'm a father as well of a two and a half year old little boy and um, as a parent you know when you hear stories about how you bless people with their with your music it's touching it, it chokes me up a little bit it chokes me up it's a blessing you guys have made such an incredible difference in her recovery in her development and we had to find a way to let you know because every time they take you in and my heart beats again Baby, I can't help it You keep me drowning in your love Every time I try to rise above I'm swept away by love I love your shoes Baby, I can't help it You keep me drowning in your love She's such a dancer This is awesome This was awesome This was such a blessing Such a gift She, um, she emailed us told us all about Jackie. I'm getting chills even talking about this. Um, and she told us all about Jackie and how she's the biggest Backstreet Boys fan ever. And when she heard they were coming to the Wachovia, she was so upset because she wouldn't be able to go to the show since she's in the hospital. Um, so we called over to Jive Records and, you know, asked them if the Backstreet Boys would possibly be able to come to John Hines and visit Jackie and I'm still getting chills. I'm gonna start crying because they agreed to come and we're waiting for them now so we can surprise Jackie. She has no idea. Cause I deserve a try honey just the once. Give me a chance and I'll prove this all wrong. You want then you so quick to judge. But honey it's nothing like me. I'll never break your heart. I'll never make you cry I'd rather die than live without you I'll give you all of me, honey, that's no lie I'll never break your heart I'll never make you cry I'd rather die than live without you, I'll give you all of me, honey, that's no lie. Wow. <laughs> awesome, guys. 
And I have to say, it was really nice of you to come since the Phillies beat the Rays. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> 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 you guys are great. Uh, Game one of the National <laughs> Anthem. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, Hopefully we, we didn't jinx the Rays. Uh, no. Let's get the guys out. <laughs> we get so much out of this, you know. Uh, I mean, we have families. You know, mm -hmm. I have two children. You know, Brian has a, a little boy. I mean, we all have children. Little boy that's going to be seventeen. Yeah, and so and so, yeah. you know, it, it just to be able to just, you know, we realize that we've been doing this for 25, 26 years, and it's just an opportunity for us to just, to just really just give back, and that's why we're here. I think you might know Nick, <laughs> and I believe you know Brian. This is our boy. How are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. We've heard so much about you. We're like your number one fans. It was really the only music she listened to throughout her treatment. And every time we came in here, they had to play the Pandora station. You know, and that was another like motivator to get her out of her room. Because a lot of times she would just stay in bed otherwise. And I think this is a pass here. It says oh. And it's got autographs on it. It's got a DNA laminate. Jordan's BSB super fan. I think the word hope. You know, everybody deserves a chance to hope in something, believe in something. And going through a, a tough hospital stay or yeah. chemotherapy or things that you're... Your system is just stripped, you're drained, you have nothing left. And I think that sense of hope is what music can bring to people. And, um, and for us yeah. to be here physically, I think it's just a, a testament to what we do. I mean, we're able to lift give some back and lift up, some spirits. You know? and, yeah. and that's just, that's why we do it. Because it blesses us, I think, more than it does anybody yeah, totally. else. Oh my God, so, dude, we're here selfishly. You guys come to our show? Yeah. Would you like to come to our concert to our show? Yes. <laughs> Well, we would love to have you. So because the Backstreet Boys were here to participate in the bell ring along with Jordan makes it a really special, special event for her. And it makes actually even the staff and everyone together to really appreciate how important it is for our patient. Press releases and cameras or an entourage, superstar Taylor Swift arrived. Nate, say hi. Say hi, Taylor. Say hi, Tim. You guys say, I love hi. Taylor. He kind of looked at me first, <laughs> and he looked up and he went, hi, Taylor. Like, he knew her from, you know, way back when or something. <laughs> and that's say probably hi, because Taylor. he did. Say he hi, listened Tim. to her songs you over and over before he was even you able to speak Taylor. his own words. She came in, she sat, she talked to him. She kissed him, she played a little piano with him, girl. and she gave me a hug. And she was just very sweet, very... She even introduced herself as if we didn't know who she was. Hey, love. We've been playing piano. He loves it. Yes. Everybody's asking me, does she sing? Hi, she wasn't there for that. She didn't sing to Nathan, but what she did for him in his room in less than 10 minutes will speak to him forever. He didn't talk till he was almost four. And some of the songs, like at the end of a rift, he would pick up the individual little words here and there. And um, we used to just play our music over and over and over again, and he would pick up the words. And that was kind of fun.
this one goes like So I was just gonna make sure that that was like if that was true or not because they said that you're like really funny and sweet Are you and funny? charming and no I'm not. You're not funny at all. You're very serious. You're actually being kind of serious right now. No I'm not. Oh, look at those <laughs> eyes. I think those eyes tell otherwise. Are you Batman today? Uh, Bobby. Nope. Who no. are you today? Are you the Hulk? <gasps> no. No. Are you Spider Man? Uh, or yeah. Yeah, oh, you're Spider-Man? Spider I'm glad I guessed it right. You look a little like Spider-Man. Should we tell Taylor who you dressed up as for Halloween? Yeah, what? Well, 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 a mask. You, don't you have wore a mask. a mask? You wore a mask. Were, were you a superhero? Yeah. Okay, you were? so if you wore a mask, were you Batman? Uh, uh, I'm Spider-Man. You were Spider-Man. Spider oh my gosh. That was my first guess. Spider-Man's so cool because like, he can go from building to building, and what does he do? Does he do this? Show me. Yep. He goes like this. Oh, perfect. He's like this. And then, shh. It's it. Am I doing it right? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. You are dead on. That's perfect. <laughs> Did you learn that so that you could have the costume be really accurate? Yeah. That's so good. <laughs> People don't have it like an attention to detail like that usually. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's awesome. So how old are you? Do you mind telling me how old you are? Uh, yeah. You're six. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Do you have a sister? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her who just had to go home today. T T. T T. T -T. T, -T. T, -T. Is that your sister? Yeah. But what's her name? Can you say it? Trinity. Trinity. Is she older than you or younger than you? Tell her. 
Yeah. No, she's not. See, she's my twin. She's your twin? Yeah. You didn't tell me you had a twin. <laughs> that is so cool. So when you went for Sp as Spider-Man for Halloween, what did she go as? Mm -hmm. What was she last year? Bobby Catwoman. She wasn't Catwoman. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't Catwoman. What oh was she gosh. last year? I don't remember. You know what? You still haven't told Taylor who you were when you were at the hospital. Yeah, who were you? You, do you remember? It's a not. princess and you got it because you tried, you got that costume because you tried to do your, your picture awake. First you were Batman, but then you were Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine. Oh my Jasmine. god, Jasmine is amazing. I think probably it would be, my favorite princesses, it would be a tie between Pocahontas, Jasmine, and Ariel. Didn't she? Yeah. See, well, they're good movies. See, Brother's kind of the one who does the princess movies. <laughs> sisters, you like them? Yeah, sisters. Um, High five. We have that in common. Really delayed. She's, um, she's... She's got some disabilities, and so he kind of gets to take over for hey, the... He, he leads the charge on the princess. Where's your outfit? Where's her outfit? My outfit? It's under here. Oh, you mean like what she wears on stage and stuff? My outfits. Well, we keep them, we keep them on the tour bus so that when I go on stage, when I do a big concert, um, I can have them ready. And during the show, during the concert, I'll do lots of costume changes. Yeah, why? Why? I want to see them. You want to see them? You want to see them? Well, well you can what, see. what we can show you. I can give you the next best thing. So, I brought you some presents. Do you like to draw? Yeah. Well, this will help you draw because now you have more, like, paper and stuff in your notepad. And Is that nice? Do you want to take it, Trip? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And then, this is a t-shirt from the tour. It's an official tour t-shirt, so it's almost like you were there. And then this is like a t-shirt with my album cover on it. Wow. And then, you will like the if you like listening to music, we brought you a CD. And then this is a giant sticker that you can put somewhere. Yeah, it's a big sticker. And then this is kind of fun. These are some bracelets. But this... Okay, so like... You're going to like that a lot. At the concerts. In, like when you look out, all these thousands of people that are out there, like all of them have these light up things. And when they turn them on, here, pull this out for me. Just pull that. And now it'll work. <gasps> oh, my it's gosh. crazy. That's so fun. That'll and so fun. everybody's like holding these up. And imagine like thousands of these. Ooh, cool. It's cool. really cool. Do you like this that? Is for you. It's kind of, do you, did you ever watch Star Wars? Yeah. It's like a lightsaber, but oh except boy. it doesn't hurt people. <laughs> I know. Another you one just said a, key, a very <laughs> key word you in trip life. Yeah. You did see it. Who's your favorite Star Wars character? Um, Bobby Gumball, Obi Wan, oh, yeah. and you die Walker. Darth Maul and Obi Wan. And yeah. yeah. Did you ever see like? Did you ever see the new ones where there's like Jar Jar Binks, the funny one? Yeah. And, <laughs> and Jabba. Uh, and Jabba the Hutt. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> He's like. He doesn't seem like he'd be fun to hang out with. What do he get? He get that. Yeah. And then he ties up Prince Le Princess Leia and keeps her as a captive. Hmm, that yeah. sounds like something Trip would do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. You're not just tie anybody up. We were just talking about how you used to tie, put um, handcuffs on Caitlin and put her in the medicine closet in the other side. Yeah, I oh, clearly tell remember. Oh, tell me story. I'm interested to hear about this. Do you tie up the nurses? He Bobby. must be so strong. Bobby, yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. He kind of does. Are Probably, you a troublemaker? Yeah. He kind of rules the roost on the other side, mm -hmm. don't you? Bud? I put mischief in your eye. It's the charm. What? But you were very what brave the like, other day, like right? What Spider-Man has, you know? Like, it's that. It's <laughs> bat in his eyes. I usually know those types, but I'm really young for Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey. I'm going to suit up in my really great outfit. Right now. Who's that? I'll be with you. Taylor, I hate to ask this. My daughter's on an airplane and it's going to take off. Could you just say hi to her real quick? Hi. Oh, she's 
Yay, Ava's so happy. Oh my god, she's so pretty. Is she crying? She got a smile. She's crying. Turn off the, um, the phones right now. So it was all Okay. Mom, you're in the way. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What's your name? Shelby. Shelby. I'm so sorry. My parents actually almost named me Shelby. But then really? I realized that my name would have been Shelby Swift, and that kids might have made fun of me. Shelby Swift. She's like, Shelby Swift. Like, and then what if I wasn't a fast runner? And they'll be like, well, she's not. <laughs> so, yeah. I can't see that. Oh my god, you are so cute. Mm hmm. Do you have your sister? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's her name? Avalon. Avalon. Is that after Avalon, New Jersey? No? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> that's a town in New Jersey. It's a really good town, mm -hmm. but it's also a good name. <laughs> Look at her face. Yeah. Thanks for having my picture on your door. Uh, that was nice. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to check out this one. It's this pretty impressive. Too. Who is that? We don't know. We, we don't know who he is. But she kind of don't care about the boys, but <laughs> she was creative <laughs> enough to do this. You know his name is Ross. Yeah, but... Um, oh my god, you get to meet Taylor so Shelby, you are my idol. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he's doing this, like, this mm -hmm. is such the a pose. classic, like, <laughs> like, like, teen idol boy pose. Mm -hmm. God. Tig tiger beat. Shelby, are you learning the guitar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are. Know how I do, well, roughly. Mm -hmm. Sort mm -hmm. of. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. We saw you playing the banjo earlier, too. Oh, we were my watching God. The yeah, guys. I love guitar. <laughs> mm -hmm. That'll be a really good way to pass time in here. Oh, yeah. I used to play just for hours in my fingers blood, like when I was learning. Aww. Did you, well, I mean, it'll happen to you, too, if you play enough. <laughs> do, you, do you have the calluses yet? Yeah, it's still recording. Yep, that's yeah. good. That's not recording? Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you been playing? That's awesome. Yeah, it's still getting lessons here and there. Not, not as often. She's been pretty sick this last year, so. I used to take lessons and I would fall asleep halfway through them. Because I'd be so bored if I was learning like note for note, like string for string. Because I just, when I started playing, I learned that part later. But when I like to start playing, it was like chords and stuff, so I could accompany myself. Nice. I'd write songs. I can't write songs. The ladies at the hospitals get them in chords to. To learn. Oh my god, that's a great way to learn. Yeah. That's a great way to learn. And YouTube. Yep. YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> when I was learning, this makes me sound like I'm like 300 years old, but like when I was learning to play guitar, the, the YouTube wasn't around yet. <laughs> it would have been a very helpful tool. Mm -hmm. The internet wasn't around when I was young. So. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it wasn't around when I was young either. Mm -hmm. And that makes me feel really strange. Because <laughs> like kids today have like all this. Hey, sorry. I'm just going on. I actually just said the term kids today. <laughs> oh, look, it's a flight look, attendant. It's a flight attendant. Okay. That's awesome. Dad, I don't want to, don't drag me into your drama. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Like, yeah, right. You're talking to Taylor Swift. Whatever. That's awesome. You They're like, prove it. She's wearing a mask. <laughs> <laughs> um, They're like, we're telling you, turn your phone off now, please. <laughs> Go, Avalon, you little rebel. <laughs> you guys are so crazy. Look at her. She's so cute. <laughs> oh. Are you guys getting yelled at? You don't care, do you? No. I think they just froze. I think they're frozen. <laughs> <laughs> She's frozen. They can still hear them. They can hear. Um, I live in South Carolina. Really? Yes. You are a long way from home. Mm -hmm. But this is a really good hospital. Mm -hmm. So it's worth it. So we've been in three hospitals, three Ronald McDonald's. So we're really? very appreciative of both. I mean, all the hospitals and the, definitely the Ronald McDonald house. Oh, it's yeah. amazing. So. Definitely. Yeah. Do you... Um, Oh, I don't mind. I had, or she can do it. You can do it, Shelby. She had um, aplastic anemia, which is a, um, where her bone marrow started attacking itself. Yeah. So it was killing off all of her blood and marrow. And um, and then, so she got a bone marrow transplant. 
and she was about 90 days post-transplant, and then she ended up getting what's called PTLD, which is basically a form of lymphoma. No. Oh. So oh, that's God. why we're here. We got transferred here. We were so very blessed because it was a clinical trial, so we were like waiting on insurance to approve it and, and all that stuff. And so did you do the trial? We're in the trial. She's at, on her second week of the trial. Good, oh. good. Mm -hmm. You, you look like you're feeling good. I gotta go. Do you have any other brothers and sisters, or is that about it? No, just one sister. Is that the most amazing eyelashes? Mm -hmm. Do people tell you that a lot? Yeah, it's from cyclosporins. It's not, it's an immunosuppressant, which they had to take her off once she got this other illness. I'm sorry about the medicine, but the, the eyelashes are out of this world. It's amazing. You have no idea. How many people? longer, like they've actually kind of gone down a little bit. How many people I know who would be like, what's this? It's true. Can you give me some? Oh my god. Yeah, like half her eyeballs. Ava! 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 Be a boys and a girls thing. Mm -hmm. You hear it more as a girls thing now, but like, used to do that, like, kind of like, yeah. Mm -hmm. sex, hey, that came out. Mm -hmm. Are you going to go see that? My sister's reading the book. I'm sure Korean wants to see it. Uh, I think it would be a good one to read the book first. Because mm -hmm. those, like, those, like, um, sci fi movies, sometimes if you don't read the book before, you're like, why is this guy purple right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it's like, they're like, no, it's the force field. Like, didn't you read the book? Mm -hmm. That's what Avalon, she's all about the books. And, like, she, she reads she, them, like, like, multiple times. Um, so. What's that word? Divergent. Hunger Games. Jennifer Lawrence. Katniss. <laughs> <laughs> this is a game. It's a game. The movie, book, person, place, I lost thing. it. <laughs> yeah, went somewhere else. That's the only reason why I start naming things is because that that happens to me like four times a day and my friends are just used to going like, all right, this is what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. What were you just talking about? I just went down the rabbit hole and talking about all these other things. Yeah, it's when your mind, I think it's when your mind goes too fast. When you're like always trying to think of the next thing you should be thinking about or doing or like making lists in your head. That's, that's a fun personality trait to have. Mm. Do you want to get a picture or anything? Yeah. We could do that if you wanted. I think she okay, might be gone. I think she's gone, yeah. Yeah. We've taken off now. That is so cool, that stuff. Should we keep, 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 keep recording or no? I love birds. Like, not necessarily, like, I don't want to own them, but I like, like, drawings of birds. Mm -hmm. Just hang a bunch of birds here. Yeah, cool They're story. free pets. Shall we try and take a picture of my big camera? Yeah. The big, big Ooh. camera. Aww. Oh, you guys look awesome. <laughs> you guys look awesome. Thank you. 
Alright, my turn. <laughs> oh! oh! Oh, no! 92.7 WOBM, so we hear that Gordon Ramsay is here on the Jersey Shore, and one of his biggest fans wants to meet him. So, Gordon, if you're listening, can you make this girl's dream come true? I'm excited to do this school run. Um, I'm at Tom's River and um, we're going to surprise an amazing lady. Um, she's been slightly poorly over the last couple of years and I'm going to surprise her with something very special. She's 12 years of age and um, what a great way to surprise someone on a school run. Dad, how are you, sir? Oh, man, I'm so glad we can make oh it. Oh my God. I am I'm so, good to see you. I'm, I'm so excited. This is my oldest daughter, Hi. Leanne. Hi. Leanne, Mr. Gordon Ramsay. see you too. We literally just ran uh, I from, uh, from, 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 from Can I help you? Uh, yeah, Mr. Gordon Ramsay here to see Callista. We have the, the school uh, cook. Right. The school cook is here. So, Great. so how are you? All right, yourself? Yeah, all good, thank you. Good. Um, where should I stand? When she comes to the door there. You should stand in the corner. I'll stand in the corner here. Yeah. Please, for you guys to please share so my daughter can meet her idol. This fine individual over here is actually at my daughter's school and Callista is gonna come through the door in like a minute. I, I, I'm hiding. Um, what a lovely, yeah. an amazing family. Um, um, with three daughters of my own, I, I understand the pain, um, but um, we gotta stand strong, right? Yeah, we gotta stand strong. I can't wait to meet her. Oh, she's, you're gonna see a lot of tears. No. <laughs> and what's her favorite thing? What does she enjoy eating? What does she? Your recipes. Oh really? Bless her. <laughs> Bless her. And is it uh, MasterChef Junior, uh, Hell's Kitchen? What do you think it is? She just anything for the man. Bless her. She'll watch it. She's like, that's my boy. Bless her. Well, I'll serve her food and she goes, if Gordon's here, he'll tell you that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hiding in the headmaster's office to meet Callista to um, wish her happy gym class. Um, and I've got some amazing macaroons, some beautiful cupcakes. So, um, she's 12 years of age. Now, I'm not, uh, I'm not good on school runs um, and three daughters of my our own. Um, I do one school run a year. So to be here in Tom's River, in between shoots, um, yeah, pop in. I'm just absolutely panicking. In fact, if the school headmaster asked to see my school report, I got a B in English, I got a, an A in maths, and I got a C in cookery. <laughs> I just saw her. Oh, oh really? She's coming. Yeah. All right, guys, you ready? She saw me though. Come on over. I'd like you to come over. Oh! 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 So good to see you. <laughs> How was the gym? <laughs> hey. How was the gym? I'm sorry for interrupting class. You good? I heard you were in town. I wanted to come over. I'm more important now. I wanted to see you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my god. Come here. Oh my goodness, me. Oh my god. I love this. You look amazing. Oh my god. And you've been amazing. <laughs> and your strength has been extraordinary. So when Thank I you saw, so much. When I saw Dad's post, I said, I don't want to meet that girl. Oh my god. How was the gym class? I was in music class. Music class, what are you playing? Um, we were playing actually a British song and I was talking to my teacher and he's like, you gotta learn the Britain's national anthem before he comes. But... God save the Queen. Yeah. <laughs> Extraordinary, right? An amazing anthem. Oh my God. Now, I know you've had a tough time. I know you are absolutely under at the moment, but when I see strong young girls like you, having three daughters of my own, you know what? You're inspiring. Thank now, you. I didn't cook these, but look, I want you to take them home. I've got some amazing little macaroons, a beautiful cake, and the most amazing cupcakes, okay? So we have them with some tea. Thank I spoke you. to Pat this morning. Dad said, you gotta be quick. Otherwise, we're not gonna get there for 2.15. And you enjoy watching food programs, right? Yeah. That's you... what got her through her cancer treatment. Wow. Watching your show, taking her mind off the fact that Amazing. she couldn't eat 
And right. That's all she did. Wow. The whole four months that she was in the hospital. Amazing. Thank you show. so much. You yeah, are cooking welcome. Show. You are welcome. And look, Dad brought this in. Okay. <laughs> um, stay well. Okay. Continue to fight this because you are a strong winner. Remember that. Okay. Yeah. We keep in touch. Yes. Please. Keep me posted. Yeah. I'll make sure Dad's got my email. We got something else going on as well, but that would. Dad will explain that, that's what dads are for. Yeah? Come here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Next time I see you, okay? Let's have dinner together, okay? You got some tough months ahead of you, but I know you're gonna get through this. And remember what kind of inspiration you are out there. Don't you dare ever forget that, okay? Thank you. We share the same hairstyle, we love food, my son is not grayer. But we're, we're, we're buddies now, right? Chef buddies. Um, Hey Jody, look, I'm here with this gorgeous little nugget. Um, my long lost sous chef. I'm trying to call you at work, you're not answering. Um, I don't want to come around for dinner tonight, but I've heard it's uh, turkey meatballs. No, what is it? Pasta bake? I don't know. <laughs> that was on the menu. Yeah. What's on the menu? I don't know. Try tip? I've got to go to work. No, so. I know that for you. Take out. Uh, take out. <laughs> you, you like my wife. You didn't even answer the phone when I call her what's on for dinner. She didn't even call me back, so. <laughs> Oh, yes. 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 He waves. Yeah. Oh, you love the camera. Does the camera <laughs> love you? Does the camera love you? <laughs> He's so handsome. Oh. That's for you, okay? So beautiful. Okay. Imagine opening your front door and seeing Captain America, Iron Man, and his girlfriend Pepper standing there. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh. We, 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 we just stopped, but we were in the neighborhood, oh, and we thought we'd cruise back. It was the surprise of a lifetime for Ryan Wilcox. I had no words. He's a huge fan of the Avengers. Gwyneth Paltrow heard about Ryan's story through the long tentacles of social media. She contacted his family and set up the surprise visit at the family's El Cajon home. She brought along a couple of her celebrity superhero friends, Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans. Ryan identifies with Captain America. He never gives up. The parallels between the superhero and Ryan are striking. Always high spirited. The 18 year old has been fighting for his life since he was just a toddler. I had a brain tumor when I was three. Got rid of it when I was seven. Now he has a rare form of leukemia. Much like Captain America, he too has a powerful team. With my family on my side, that's how I got through it and my friends praying for me. The movie star spent about an hour with the Wilcox family. It was so funny, they came and they sat down on the ground. In their living room. It was just great, it was almost like they were just our friends. Friends with superpowers for Ryan's soul. Especially the Captain America movie, the shield's been a big symbol of strength for him throughout this entire journey for him. What's your name, Noah? Doing? Hey, what's up guys? It's Tom Holland here. We are at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. We are wandering around, meeting some of the patients and uh, having a good time. Should I show you a flip? Yeah. Do you want to see a flip? Oh my god, you really did do a flip. Nice to meet you. I'm Spider-Man. I saw a little kid wearing Spider-Man shoes. Oh, nice. Yeah. No way. They look like these. <laughs> these are real Spider-Man shoes. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm Spider-Man. Hi there. Hi. How you doing? And then I click this button, and the web flies out of here. And then on my belt is where I keep my extra web cartridges, which go in here when I run out. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. 
How's things? Oh, you're really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to meet you. I'm Spider Man. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> What's your name? I'm William. These can open and close. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I need to zoom in on bad guys, I can zoom in. Mm -hmm. High five, buddy. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you too. It's only 10 years older than you. And he's Spider Man. I know. It's great. So I can't cool. believe it. Can you climb like. Yeah, I can, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm sticky. Look. Wow. Anyway, Joshua, it's good to meet you, bro. Stay strong. What's up, Chris? Nice to meet you, bro. I'm Spider Man. Ooh, can you do that? There we go. <laughs> anyway, lovely to meet you, Thank Chris. you so much. She may play Wonder Woman on the big screen, but it looks like Gal Gadot is a wonderful woman in real life, too. The 33-year-old Israeli actress suited up in her iconic superhero costume to surprise kids at the Innova Health Children's Hospital in Virginia. One of the kids who met Gal was seven-month-old Caroline who has an aggressive form of pediatric cancer called acute myeloid leukemia. Caroline's mom shared the heartwarming visit on Facebook, writing, when Wonder Woman comes to visit, you take as many pictures as you can. And the superhero didn't come empty-handed. She even brought toys and coloring books for the kids. Power, grace, wisdom, and wonder indeed. Well, I'm really happy that I got to come down here and see you guys. I know. Chester Bennington, lead singer of Linkin Park, one of the world's most celebrated rock bands in what is a 14-year-old boy's dying wish. Yeah. yeah. Looks so like they were used. Huh? Yeah, they were definitely used. They definitely used. Yeah. Definitely used. Yeah. <laughs> Linkin Park's drummer, Rod Borden, stopped by a day earlier and bandmate Chester Bennington doing so just a few hours before flying off to Paris and a European tour. Um, so it's nice to be able to come down here and say hi and, you know, hopefully make him feel, feel good today. Mm -hmm. A family friend has been helping fulfill Kyle's wish list, same for KTLA's Elizabeth Espinoza. Even Ozzy Osbourne called a day earlier from Europe. He's planning to stop by when he's back stateside. It's bittersweet to see that Kyle just a few days ago said, I want to die. And that's really what made me say, this, this, I can't let him die like that. In October, doctors figured Kyle had at most uh, two months to live. His brain cancer, the tumors, have since blurred his vision. Before he lost his speech, he had asked, why is everybody doing all these things for me? Am I that special? And we always told him, well, he has a way about him, about touching people. He really does. He's a very sweet kid. Buddy? Oh my god! Oh my god. Hey. Do you need a hand? Yeah. We got you back if you do. We're okay. right here with you, man. <laughs> Two of the biggest names in Hollywood made a surprise visit to a children's hospital in Brisbane, where they said they got to meet the real superheroes of the world. 11 year old Cone Weir, who suffers from cerebral palsy, first sat down with Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hiddleston for an exclusive interview. What is it like getting to be a superhero and supervillain? Well, it is very cool, uh, especially when I face this particular supervillain. The on screen brothers also took time away from shooting their latest, Thor Ragnarok, to meet with other children at the hospital, including Kaylin Hode who suffered a brain injury after he saved his brother from being hit by a four-wheeler, only to be struck himself. In addition to meeting the children, Loki and Thor signed autographs and took pictures. Afterward, Hemsworth took to Instagram, calling the kids brave and an inspiration to all of us. It was probably also nice for him to get a little help in this sibling rivalry.